in a world where infection is spreading. One man has an idea that could save us all. I will build a great, great wall. Let me preface this tutorial by saying I know nothing about politics whatsoever. I only made this app because I think Trump is a hilarious human, so please don't beat me up in the comments. So that being said, I must first give credit to uh, Ayush Somani. He hit me up on Facebook and was like, hey, thanks for the videos. I made 400 bucks on my first try with my note checker app. It was then I realized I need to be putting more things on the app store. So this Trump app I made is a piece of garbage. I made it fairly quickly, but Tushar Parang, who watches these videos, agreed to do updates on the app. So if anyone has anything they think would be funny to add to it or just any feedback in general, uh, I'll link to his Facebook down in the description below. So definitely hit him up and uh, direct any feedback to him. Anyway, today we're gonna go back to the basics with Unity 3D and Vuforia because Vuforia changed their interface a little bit and some a few people were having problems with some of my earlier tutorials. So today we're just going to do some basic marker-based augmented reality. We are not going to make the entire app from the intro, but we'll at least get the Trump model moving around on an image target. And we're going to use a uh, mobile joystick. So it's like one of those little touch joysticks you touch on your screen and it'll move the character around. I think this is an important thing to know how to do because I see it time and time again in uh, a, lot of, a lot of other mobile augmented reality apps. So with that, we're going to try to do this in about six minutes. So let's get right into it. First, download Unity 3D if you don't already have it, and make sure to install the packages for Android or iOS uh, support, depending on which mobile platform you want to build out to. Now we need to get the Vuforia plugin for Unity, so go to vuforia.com and log in or create an account if you don't already have one. Click on Develop and add a license key. Copy the new key to your clipboard. Go to Google and download a picture of a dollar bill or whatever other image you want to use as a fiducial marker. Put it on your desktop. Go back to Vuforia and click on Target Manager. Add a new database, call it whatever you want, and click Create. Open that new database up and add a picture of your marker by choosing Add Target. Find the file on your desktop. Enter in 5 for the width and give it a unique name. Click Add. Now, download that image target database and put it on your desktop. Grab the Vuforia plugin for Unity if you don't already have it from the download section. Put that on your desktop as well. The last thing we need to download is the 3D model that we're going to move around. You could use whatever you want, but here I'm going to search Trump Low Poly Model on Google and choose this one. Download this and throw it on your desktop as well. Now open up Unity and create a new project. Call it whatever. Go to File, Build Settings, and change your platform to Android or iOS. Drag in the Vuforia plugin, drag in the image target database we created, unzip the Trump 3D model folder, and drag that in as well. Save the scene. First, let's get tracking working, so click on the Vuforia folder, prefabs, and drag in AR camera to the scene. Delete the main camera. Next, drag the image target prefab into your scene. With the AR camera selected, click on Open Configuration in the inspector. Paste in your license key. Expand data sets and check Load Image Target Database and Activate. Select the Image Target Game object and choose your Image Target Database from the dropdown. Choose the uh, image target that you want to track. Go to the Low Poly Trump folder and go to the Animations folder. Find the Trump with Idle animation and drag that into the scene on top of your image target game object, making it a child. Rotate Trump by 180 degrees about the Y and up his scale to 0.3 across the board. Click play and we should be able to see our 3D model on our marker. Now let's get the joystick working. Go to Assets, Import Package and choose Cross-Platform Input. 
go to standard assets cross-platform input prefabs and drag the mobile single stick control prefab into the scene delete the jump button up the scale to 2 on the mobile joystick child also change the movement range to about 50 now go to the trump game object and add, add a rigid body component uncheck use gravity Create a new c -sharp script and call it Trump Controller. Double click it to open in MonoDevelop. First create a private rigid body and call it RB. In the start function set RB equal to this game object's rigid body component. We want to create this reference here so we don't have to use get component in the update function which gets called every frame. Now go back up to the top and add a using directive for unity standard assets dot cross platform input. Inside update create a float x and set it equal to cross put cross platform input manager dot get, get access horizontal do the same thing for float y but get the vertical axis this gives us a value between negative one and one for each create a vector three called movement and set it equal to a new vector three that uses the x variable we want zero for the y because we aren't moving up and down and set the y as the z this is basically translating the 2d movement of the joystick to 3d movement now do rb.velocity equals movement times 4f. Just change this value if you want them to go faster or slower. Now, so far we will be moving Trump in the direction the joystick is moved. Uh, let's take it a little bit further and make him face the direction in which we're moving the joystick. So create a condition where if x and y do not equal 0, we will set the Euler angles to a new vector 3, and we're only going to change the rotation about the y, so set x and z equal to the current transforms x and z. And then for the y, we need a rotation in degrees, so use mathf.atan2 and pass in the x and y. Then multiply that by mathf.radians to degree. Now we should have the correct motion, so let's get the walking and idle animations working. Go back to the Trump folder and select the idle model with animation and change animation type to legacy on the rig tab and do the same thing for the walking model. Expand the idle model and click the animation file. Click edit and change the wrap mode to loop and rename the animation idle. Click apply. Do the same thing for the walking animation. Go back to the Trump game object in the scene and change the animation size to 2. Drag in the walk animation. Go back to the Trump controller script and create a private animation, just call it anim. Create the reference in the start function. Finally, in the update function, just create another condition and check if either the X or Y does not equal zero, meaning the joystick is being moved in some way, so we will play the walking animation, uh, or else we will play the idle animation. And that's it. Now when we click play, we can walk around our marker in whatever direction we move the joystick. Now, to get it on your phone, go to File, Build Settings, and click Add Open Scenes. If you plan to build for Android, make sure you have USB debugging enabled on your phone. Plug it into your computer and hit build and run. If you are building to an iPhone, make sure you have Xcode downloaded and create a free Apple developer account. Hit player settings and create a unique bundle identifier. Hit build and run. This will bring up Xcode. Just choose your team and click play to get it on your phone. So that's it. Like this video if it helped you out. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And definitely let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the next video. I was planning on doing the next one with uh, tracking.js and facial recognition so that you can do augmented reality in your web browser. So if you guys think that's a good idea, definitely let me know. And other than that, that's all I got. So goodbye.